let's get straight into it. Here's the box break. Um, it's smaller than I imagine it to be, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool, nicely designed. The back, there we go. Um, and to be honest, guys, I think I'm gonna get into Momo Peach Momoko's work. Momoki, Momoko. Um, apart from EM Gist, EM Gist is the bomb. I don't know how you say EM Gist, EM Gist, but I love his painting. Um, even to say maybe even better than David Palumbo's art style. All right, so how does um, Matt, I think Matt, okay, let me get rid of this. Yeah, let me get rid of all this stuff. Let's go like that, right? Yeah, it looks good. Um, I want to preserve this box, so I think I'm going to use a scalpel and do a nice, neat cut. Uh, okay. I should, um, so I should have taken note how Matt does this. I hope you guys have had a good Tuesday. The sun has finally decided to come out today. And, oh, that's a tight one. It's good enough for me to go to the post office and pick up Matt, Matthew CW's package for me. All right. Through that. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the box. If, um, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Thinking maybe I should have cut that a bit better. This this wrapping's pretty cool too. Anyway, um, how does he do? Oh, so he, I cut that seal. There we go, pretty legit. And then I see that Matt does this. <laughs> Take notes from me, Matt says. All right. Yeah, I'm going to work out that um, that extra camera and not having to mess up the reverb. But here we go. Um, so how do I want to do this? I want to keep the packets, or at least a couple of them. Um, what's the best way to, like, open this? I don't know. Let's just try one. All right. Open nice and neat. I wonder how Matt does Matt do. Pretty cool. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not as flimsy as I thought or not as tight as I thought. That's what she said. Um, all right, guys, you know I'm not into the chase cards. I'm not really into the sketch cards. I just want some good art and... Um, some flariums, and I think we got a flarium. Speak of the devil, EM Gist, Hawkeye baby, and the it's backwards, or maybe it's front. Maybe you open it like this. All right, so we got Wizard. I have no idea who that is. Uh, I'm going to start a pile over here. Um, Ego the planets. Oh, God damn, I love that smell. Um, love that art. Why don't they tell you who it's from? Pretty sick. All right, cool. Moon Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Sunspot. Awesome character. Yeah, too bad about the art. All right, so we got a Power Blast. Whoever's into that, 
I'll try them because oh, it's pretty cool. Um, that's definitely pretty shiny. Power Blast. Meh. All right, but this is where we're getting into it. This is the tier. This is where we're getting to the tiers. Hawkeye. Um, above, yeah, 110. I think this is like the second tier or something. Hopefully someone can correct me on that. There's like six tiers on the Flareons or something, or six or four. And then they become rarer after the tenth group. Like after 90, they become rarer or something. Um, but this is just right. No, Pav Pavelic. A, a friend of just as I've heard from um, MCC podcast. Okay, I like this card. It's not on my um, my hunt list, but I am a fan of gist. He's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Uh, how does it fucking do this? I don't want to damage the wrappers too much because I know there's people who like to keep the wrappers. And if they want to get it off me, if anyone wants any wrappers, just let me know. I'll try and keep it as nicely broken. Ooh. Oh, no way. Is this magic? All right. Now, this is somebody I'm looking for. Magic is the bomb she's a... Um, and is anyone excited for the new mutants? I know I am. It's pretty cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I got two cards that I want. God damn! Ghost Rider. This definitely looks like. I don't know who it is, but I love the arts. I know a lot of sketch card artists copy this kind of pose from Ghost Rider. I don't blame him. It looks sick. Okay. I have no idea who I, I kind of know who Magus is, but I'm not really familiar with him. I think this art is very cool though. But not cool enough to be on my want list. So I'm gonna put him here. Still looks pretty cool. I love love the execution. Blade very cool. Um, no. Nah. Thank you, but no thank you. Corvus. I have no idea who that is. And the composition of this piece kind of looks like a callback to, dare I say, 96 Marvel Masterpieces. Wolverine, right? Or like Sabretooth or whatever. Kind of familiar. Uh, okay, so this is, what are these called? These are matter. And then the opposing ones are anti-matter, the bad guys, right? Very nice. Well, Cap, this looks like a comic art by Lionel Francis Yu. I think that's his name. The guy who's currently doing doing um, uh, Dawn of X or X-Men or whatever it's called. Well, I'll put him on the chase card pile, but my God, this one, baby. Shit, it's so sick. Okay, I think Pavelek, Pavelek is the bomb shit. He's so good, dude. Whew. Beautiful. I'll put it here. Uh, I don't know who did this Ghost Rider, but it's very cool. I'm going to put Hawkeye here as well. All right, next one. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy. I got two two cards that I wanted. <laughs> it's pretty good. If I could get all of the cards that I wanted from this box, Matt, you're the best. If I if I could. Okay. To be honest, I think the wrapping is pretty cool. Like it comes out easily without damaging the cards. Don't want to ding any corners. Ah! All right, US Agents. I always thought US Agents is a very cool character. Um, 
but I'm not into that suit, his his original suit. Very cool. I think that could do a lot with US Agent as um, a movie or maybe like a series, right? Gladiator, very cool. I always thought of him being a cool character. Mr. Immortal, I have no idea, but this is one very cheesy pose, and I think it's fitting. Well executed. Very cool. This is the one I wanted. Not a flaring, but blink. Um, I like blink in general. And um, yeah, this is one of the cards that made the cut. So I'm going to put it here. Oh, I got um, a Copper Age. What are these called? They're through the Ages? Hobgoblin. Very shiny card. God damn. Well, let me know if anyone wants that. Dr. Octopus. This looks like, could be Pavelic. Yeah, Pavelic. I really like his execution and his shading. Um, I think he could lose, maybe he's just using straight acrylics, but wow, so beautiful. Sorry, Doc Ock, you didn't make the cut though. And my, um, the requirements to make the, cards the cut that i wanted for the cards is um whatever fits in a ultra pro ultra pro platinum page sleeve so pretty much a minimum of nine cards and i've extended my want list to two pages so 18 cards altogether um oh speak of the devil peach momoko i can already see one i think this is a psylocke and if I did extend to another page of 2019 Flare, it'd be a third page of just Peach Momoko. Um, I was thinking of a page of EM Gist, Gist but um, there weren't enough cool cards or cool artwork that he did to make the to make nine. Ah, oh, come out! I just don't want to ding the corners. Any possible trades? Ah. All right. Elsa Bloodstone. Cool. Satana. Very cool. What's this? What's the POF? Oh, it's a thick card. Um, all right, cool. Oh, it's one of these ones. Maybe that's the hit of the box, huh? One of these um patches i've seen a lot of these patches online and to see it in real life it's pretty cool very well executed well very well crafted and i just spat on it cool um pieces of flair where is this piece from it's not from a comic is it from like someone's clothing enjoy your memorabilia card POF four. All right, cool, man. Um, a, to be honest, more excited about this. <laughs> Peach Momoko. And also, um, ex kind of getting excited for the, the anime set coming out. Anyone else excited for that? Um, I'm a fan of Peach Momoko from... Just looking at 2019 Flair, I think her style is very um, unique, um, distinct, um, you know, unmistakable. And look, she doesn't hit it every time, but when she does hit it, my God, it's so good. No, I'll fuck, I'll fuck this one up. Shit. Sorry, sorry, whoever's getting this wrapper. Oh, another perfect. Like, okay, I'm going to open it like this from now on. Don't ding the corners. Ah, fuck. I guess you do it like that. I'm a, I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to opening packets. I haven't opened a packet 
of cards since I was a kid. So, oh yeah, this is ages 14 and up. Mm, good to know. All right, synapse, synapse, synapse. Lady Bullseye. Oh man, I'm getting everything in this. What, stained glass? Holy shit, man. They're not joking. When it's the stained glass, it's thick piece of plastic. No, it's plastic, right? Maybe Perspex. Um, I'm very excited for this. Daredevil is one of my favorite characters. Uh, let me just put on, on some white for you. Uh, like that. Like that. Oh, I love how it has the DD in the background. Very cool. All right. Pretty cool with that. And um, also pretty excited about this juggernaut. There's the dude, E.M. Gist. Um, not a very dynamic shot of Juggernaut on his usual, like, um, in motion kind of compositions, artwork they usually do. But I respect it. It's pretty cool. Didn't make the list, though. Fuck it. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can open this one without being a scrub. Oh. Um, be cool if I get a sketch card, but I'm more excited about getting all the cards that I want. Oh, there's a funky card in here, guys. I don't know. I feel like Matthew, you hooked me up with a cool deck with a cool box. What is this? Oh my god, there's another peach, my Marco. Fuck, excited. More excited about the Peach Momoko than this funky card that I'm seeing. Yeah, right. I want to get out of here without dinging any corners. God damn it. There we go. All right, let me do this for you. Ooh. First card, Challenger. Cool story. Ronan the Accuser. Interesting character. I respect it. Saw Odin Sun. Now I wonder why they called it Odin Sun. Is it just because of the current like his current status in the comics? He's taken over the mantle of um the Godfather. Um, you know, Odin. Alright. Ooh. Is this Fleming? I think it's Fleming, dude. Yeah, this could be Fleming's work. Oh, he's so good. Didn't make the list there, but flaming is okay. So what is this? A totemic team snowbird. Pretty cool. So it's kind of like matte, a matte kind of finish, and then a standard gloss on the back. Uh, cool, but not as excited as this. Not oh my god, Scarlet Samurai. I have no idea who that is, but Peach Momoko's work. It's so ex. It's exquisite is a word I'd use. Very feminine, you know, her style. Um, and also very detailed. You could look at it for a while and just discover different things. Um, it's not on my list, but I think it could be. It could be. Could be on the list. Uh, uh, let's... All right. Ooh. Is this a good omen? I messed up the 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 wrapper. Oh man. Whoever's gonna get this wrapper is gonna be pissed. Ooh, I think I've already got this card that I'm seeing on the back. Oh man, I'm just Look at this. I'm advanced now. I know how to do it, guys. Yeah, boom. All right. Malachi. Cool. Spectrum. Oh, man. Is this... Um... I don't know, but I think I like... Uh, yeah. Oh, Dark Beast. 
So is it the same artist who did Cor Corvus or Corvac or whatever? Very cool. I like it. I think that almost made my cut. Man, the reflection on this um this O ring, light ring. What is this? Atuma. Never heard of him. Looks cool though. Is is it from like Namor or something? Another totemic teams. Mm, so are these like the most common chase cards? Sentry. Um, I think I already got Sentry. Um, also, guys, I'll open up um, the trades I got from Matthew and the rest of you guys from Jason, um, I think, and Trainer Chan as well. I'm so excited to do that. And hopefully I can compile one page of Ultra Pro Platinum sleeve. Just one page. I'll be happy with one page. And... Um, Oh, that reminds me, Marcus H. Um, if you're interested in doing a trade, I think you do have one of the cards that I'm wanting. So let me know if you're interested. I've got some pretty nice chase cards that are worth your. Ooh, I think we've got a Flarium. We got a. We got a good one. I think it's the man himself. Ooh, 91. Can anyone guess who that is? Without having seen the actual pack. The man himself, Mr. James Howlett. I look on time. Try that away. Orb. Mm, interesting mm, double identity guy. Or, yeah. Isn't that supposed to be like uh, Nick Fury or some shit or some cosmic story? Interesting story. Scar. So he's the son of the Hulk, right? Cool, bro. Oh, and speak of the devil, it's Hulk himself. Um, is this a flare? No, it's not a flare. So this kind of looked like Nelson's kind of work back in the day, but it's not as vibrant in the colors. Looks like the same in execution. Not very excited about this card. You know, it just looks a little too dull, a little too much blacks. Doc Samson, this is the kind of colors I would probably do in my own artwork. Very cool. We got a Matta card, just the good guys. One-eyed M9. And this is probably the shit. Wolverine didn't make my list, but it is a Flarium. And um, if anyone wants like everyone like anyone, anyone wants it, I'm stuttering. Anyone wants it? Hit me up. The Flarium's. All right, this is the last. This is the last packet, huh? Let's see how I go. Oh, first lever felt good. Oh, opening up nice. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, ah, fuck. I fucked it. It's not a clean. Oh. Damn, it's a bad omen. I fully just split this wrapper. Ah, for fuck's sakes. You know what? I'm going to go from the bottom. From the bottom. Here we go. See if that does anything any different. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I love that sound. All right, let's see what I got here. And then this is my advanced technique without dinging the corners. Ah, oh, shit. I got excited, but then I realized I've already got it. <laughs> um, cool. Love it. Phoenix. Okay, let me just make a comment on this art. This art is so sick, and it's by... Um, this chick I follow on Instagram, it's um she's she's very well known around the industry. Oh man, she's so good. Her colors are vibrant, her compositions are very dynamic, um, usually in the moment, um, so which is even more complex because you have to do backgrounds. We got Wolverine, got her, got her. Um, if anyone wants it, let me know. 
Hyperion. There we go. So um, is he and the Sentry kind of like the Superman of Marvel or something? She-Hulk. Cheeky smile there. Holy guacamole. This is badass. It's literally signed on a silver freaking pen. I think we've got the hit, guys. All right, let, let's... Okay, this is Ant-Man. Cool. But that, let's talk about this card. Let's talk about Kingpin. This card looks really nice. It didn't make my list, but now in, in, like, in person, it is freaking sweet. Very well designed. Like, um, the contrast and tones, you know, like the white to the dark, um, and then the warmth of his head with backlighting. Oh, I got number two of 30. Holy shit. And definitely a flaring, one, two, four. I think this is like high on the list of the flaring's. Very interesting. Um, uh, maybe if you can see that. And now, uh, okay, let's just do a quick review. Um, I think that was a pretty sick box. Thank you so much, Matt. You picked a good one. So we've got Kingpin. I think that's the most high valued chase card. Well, on on the market. Market wise, um, we've got some antimatter. Uh, we've got some matter, the good guys, some titanic pot teams. Um, I think I'm pretty excited about this as well. This is did the daredevil was one of my sickest, I think it's one of the sickest characters ever. And I just finished doing a sketch card for a mate on daredevil. This is another good one, a patch, um, through the ages. I mean, there's a lot of chase cards that I've got in here. And I got one power blast. Um, excited about the blink. Anything Peach Momoko. Excited about that. Anything Pavelek. Pavelek. Pav Pavelek. Ghost Rider is in my list. And... Oh, I do have another flaring. I forgot to mention magic is a flarium. So I got, yeah, I got a couple of flariums. Very happy with that. And now let's open up um, the trades I got from the boys and from Matt Matthew organized for me. Um, yeah, I just want to take this opportunity as well to thank Matthew for what um, the content he creates for the community, for our small community that's growing. Um, and his service is top notch. So I cannot recommend Matthew C W and Oz Collect, Oz Card Collects. Um, high, highly regard him. He's a very cool guy, and his service is top notch, and something I respect. Wendigo, love that art. I don't know if Ronan's – yeah, Ronan is on – ooh, interesting top um, sleeves you put them in, Matt. Are these standard, like, um, Ultra Pro penny sleeves? Very nice. Feels cool. Feels a little bit thicker than what I'm used to. Hellstrom! Very happy with that. Okay, there's a Phoenix Double and Metalhead Dude. This is badass. This is sort of the sickest – is this – who is it? It's either a Gist or a Pavelic, and then Angela. Angela is done by the same artist. I think it's – oh, man. it's Her name is just on the tip of my tongue, but, she, like, you can tell her distinct artwork. It's To me, it's on the same level as uh, Peach Momoko. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining. It's been 30 minutes just over. That's perfect. Um, I'll catch you on the groups. You all enjoy the rest of your night. Catch you later.